Hi, my name is Charles Goldfarb. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Washington University in St. Louis. I see patients at the Orthopedic Center of Chesterfield, St. Louis Children's Hospital, and the Shriners Hospital for Children. Kids born with hand and upper extremity abnormalities often come to these sites to see me for evaluation and treatment. One of the most common abnormalities I see in children is a congenital trigger thumb, and that is when the thumb is stuck in a position of flexion. The interesting thing is this is probably not something a child is born with, but rather something that develops between one and two years of age. It doesn't cause great functional abnormalities, but does limit function in a child. Families recognize this at different time intervals. Sometimes it's the grandparent that may first notice this, sometimes it's the parent, and the child does not complain of pain. So they come in to see me with this thumb in a position of flexion, and we spend a good deal of time explaining what the problem is. The problem is essentially that the sheath, which houses the tendon, is too tight for the tendon itself. And so we can institute a trial of splinting, a trial of stretching, but unfortunately these typically do not get better on their own without surgical intervention. And surgery is very successful. This is something we can cure with a five minute surgery um, and patients and families tolerate this very well. When I see a child with congenital trigger thumb, we discuss different treatment options. The most straightforward way to begin is with a course of therapy which includes splinting and stretching. If that is effective, then nothing else need be done but most often the trigger thumb doesn't resolve and therefore the next step is surgery. Surgery can be performed at any age and it's based on the comfort level of the patient and the family. We do the surgery at St. Louis Children's Hospital most commonly. It's an outpatient surgery. It takes about 10 minutes and the child bounces back from the surgery very well. Most kids never even take pain medicine and they're back to all activities by the next day. So it's a very well tolerated minimally invasive procedure which entails a very small incision over the problem area and an opening of the sheath to allow the tendon to glide more freely.